Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we're gonna test SketchUp in the new MacBook Pro M1 Pro, and we'll be testing the benchmarks for that. So guys, first of all, before we even start up with the video, I'm not a constant user of SketchUp, and I literally just don't have a lot of idea about how to use SketchUp and just provide you the best benchmark. So we'll be just testing out with some benchmark results because the, this was actually been demanded by one of our community users. So we are just trying to respond to you so that you can make a better decision whenever you're purchasing a MacBook Pro M1 Pro for SketchUp. So we have firstly installed SketchUp. Let's try to open this up. So we'll be opening it up. We have got some benchmark tools installed already. So let's try to open this up. Yeah. So now it's open. We have got some projects ready. So we have got some projects. We'll be opening the projects and trying to have a look what happens with the project and how does it performs while the projects are actually running up so here we have got the project so if we have a look there's some pretty much some good scenes here so the transitions are very smooth it's really smooth in functioning as you can see here so the transitions are really smooth so there's absolutely no issues in the into the transitions and if we come here to the gpu utilization we can see that there's something gpu been used as well as if we come to the CPU monitor, we can see that CPU is staying really calm. It's, it has got still 90% of idleness. And into the memory, we can see that the memory pressure is memory that is being used is around 8 gigabytes. So nothing more into the memory. So not in huge. If we just also go around having a look, let, let's try to just move this around. And yeah, so we are moving this all around and we can see that. The memory is still staying very calm and cool and so gpu has been actually used we can see that the gpu utilization is moving up but cpu and memory stays really calm let's open up some more projects we have got some more projects either so here we have got a project so we can see here so let's try to just zoom into this okay so we are zooming up we can see that the zooming is really smooth so as you can see here there's no lag there's no issues while zooming and zooming out at any moment of time you can go anywhere we can see this and we can see that this is going really well by the way and if you just twist this try to twist this and move anywhere into the into any of the areas we can very easily move around so here you can see that the motions are really good transitions are really good so it's moving really good and let's try with some more projects we have got one more project over here okay so loading up some more projects oh, it's the same project what's other project yes so here too we can see that this zooming and if you just even try to do some activities around here so guys i've already said this to you that i don't use sketchup for my work so i just don't have a lot of idea how i can provide you with a better perspective for sketchup but i'm trying my best to show you what we can do and how does it actually performs so we have got just some projects downloaded and we are just trying to run this up and show it to you like if this provides you pretty much good enough information so if you're just thinking to buy one of the macbook pro m1 pro so this can serve you maybe for a good decision that whether you should go up with it or not guys we can see that there is in spite of loading up the project there are multiple be projects being loaded right now and if you get to the activity monitor we can see that the cpu is being not utilized completely it's just around 10 percent of the usage and still 90 percent is idle into the memory as well we have got just got eight gigabytes of ram being utilized now let's do a benchmark test we have got some tools installed so we have currently got vray benchmark installed and we'll be having a look what's the benchmark that we get so let's open up the benchmark tool i'll be closing the projects for a moment yes so here we are with the benchmark tool so firstly we'll go with the vray test so virtual apple it is selected that means it's the gpu that is along with the m1 pro so let's start the test so it's preparing so let's see what happens so let's get to the activity monitor into the meanwhile 
let's see so the cpu idleness is zero percent hundred percent utilization okay so it's utilizing the cpu completely as well as the memory is being used around 12 gigabytes two gigabytes is into the swap the gp utilization is also moving up we can see that gp utilization has actually started to move up cpu cores are getting filled up you can see into the cpu monitor the cpu cores are getting filled up it's an v-day benchmark test okay so it goes for one minute cpu is still staying idle at zero percent so there is idleness around zero percent so that's really good so it's completely crushing the cpu and the memory is still around 12 gigabytes so memory has got still more amount left out for more usage so we can see that memory is not filling up but yes cpu is being utilized completely so now we have got the benchmarks over here the results are 7209 that is 7209 v samples so that's really good sample rate by the way so let's go for the next test new test v-ray gpu cuda test okay so let's start this test either so this will try to utilize more of the gpu so let's see what happens we have started the test so the test has started cpu idleness is around 25 percent moved up to zero percent so cpu idleness is zero percent memory 12 gigabytes being used so into the CPU history monitor, you can see that clearly the CPU is being utilized. All the performance scores are being utilized and GPU is still having got a lot of space. So GPU still has got a lot of space left out. I don't know why it's not trying to crush the GPU completely, but whatever the results we are getting is really good. Okay. So let's try doing one thing by the way it does the compilation let's go to the v-ray benchmark results so as to see okay so v-ray and we have got 7800 something the score was we have an 7200 okay so we have the v-rays gpu cuda test results that is 224 v paths so let's get here and let's try to search for v-ray test first of all core i9 okay so we have got core i9 okay we'll be comparing this to the core i9 so here we can see that so if we get to the core i9 10940x cpu that is an desktop cpu so it has got a result score of 18000 that's really huge and 11 okay so if we have a look at to 11900h that is in core i9 11900h 11 generation processor so it has got an v sample okay that is the score here for v sample is around 10000 so whereas onto the m1 pro it is 7209 but on the 11900h it is 10507 so we have got some samples here so it's been used on microsoft windows 10 so we have we are getting an 10500 so that's around 3000 to 4000 more v samples so guys this was a demanded question into our comment sections so we try to help you out with whatever we can so if i helped you out so please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and meet you in the next episode till then goodbye